A couple of new facilities, upcoming educational events for small businesses and residents, rain barrels, contests, anniversaries, donations, and more. Let's review what's going on in Richland County. Blythewood area residents now have better access to court proceedings and their local law enforcement with the grand opening of a new magistrate's court and Richland County Sheriff's Department substation in their community. Residents, elected officials, and deputies crowded into the new courtroom that will be presided over by Magistrate Judge Joseph Robinson. But uh, really, it's a perfect fit. It is a perfect fit for the community of Blythewood to have a uh, Sheriff's Department headquarters here as well as having a magistrate's office right here. It's a perfect fit. It's for us to work together as close as we can save taxpayers money, and this is saving taxpayers money. Instead of the Sheriff's Department uh, going out and finding the building and the county paying for it, it must be one place, and the Blackwood Master being someone that's somewhere else, we've all came together. The Richland County Recreation Commission broke ground on a new swimming pool at its Eastover facility. The constituents in District 10 was hollering and screaming about service. Then I realized that a lot of our kids, and I brought it to council numerous times, but I never could get up to six votes. So my last year on council, I worked every one of the council members I could. I brought some of them down here and let them see. They understood that, that we needed something in our community, such as a swimming pool to save lives. We're bound by two major rivers, and there's a lot of people in the community that you know, does a lot of activity in the river, fishing, uh, some of them go on boats. But the majority of those folks do not know how to swim. And one thing that Ms. Scott and I talked about when she was on council was finding a way in the bond process that we can include a swimming pool. Um, I think throughout the whole county, maybe um, two, three pools in the whole county. That's just not enough access uh, for people to learn how to swim. And there were programs, but they were costly programs that people were not out of reach for uh, some of our constituency who could not afford. Uh, to take those swimming classes. So the East River Pool is only one of the uh, exciting things we have going on for our community right now. We do have the Cottontail Festival coming up on March 29th from 10 to 2 at Polo Road Park. If you would like information on this program or any of our other programs, you can visit www.richlandcountyrecreation.com. Car donations have become a popular method of giving to charities and Richland County took the practice to a different level this month when it gave a vehicle to a local university in need. Richland County turned over the keys to the donated car, a decommissioned Sheriff's Department vehicle, to Allen University's Police Department. The 2008 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor couldn't have come at a better time, said Allen University's Police Chief Kevin Davis. So this vehicle will be used to patrol the neighborhood, patrol the campus, and sort of from a proactive standpoint. And also, uh, unfortunately, we make arrest at the transport as well. So we need a vehicle that's well uh, kept, something that's reliable, that we can utilize. And we certainly appreciate the Richland County uh, donating this vehicle to us. It's going to be put to great use. I think the community is going to love it. The college is going to love it. And I certainly love it. We maintain those units every 5,000 miles. They come in for oil changes and whatever else. Our maintenance program involves an inspection that takes probably two to two and a half hours to do. We check everything on every unit that comes in here. So we don't miss anything, particularly on the safety departments, the sheriff and the EMS. Uh, most recently, this one had a service done to it, which includes an oil change and that maintenance check. We've also done the brakes about 9,000 miles ago, so it's, it's gonna be in really good shape. It, it'll be a pretty reliable unit for the uh, chief to use. Vehicles decommissioned by Richland County are usually sold at public auction, but Richland County Council approved the donation at its December 3rd meeting after learning the university's police department was in need. Richland County Councilwoman Julianne Dixon is spearheading a forum aimed at helping small businesses gain insight into securing contracts with federal, state, and local government agencies. GSA will be there to bring in the federal entity of this and this will um, additionally give them another step to go as far as what, can, what kind of service and what can be done as far as bidding and contract with all the different governmental entities. The forum is on Friday, February 21st from 8.30 a.m. to noon at the Richland County Adult Activity Center at 7494 Park Lane Road. This March, Richland County will be hosting a free course on the function of your county government. Richland 101 will meet 6 to 8 p.m. Monday and Thursday evenings in March. 
classes will cover a range of subjects to give attendees insight into how tax dollars are used to provide services to residents. Do you know where your tax dollars are going? Navigating your way through government spending can be difficult. Richland 101 will teach you who is responsible for your taxes and how they are preserving your future. You will see that taxes help protect the community, care for the community, and protect the interests of our residents. Get a look at where we're going, how we'll get there, and even get behind the scenes of a popular local attraction. At Richland 101, you will learn all of this and more. So get on board and stay informed. You can view the complete schedule and register at rcgov.us. For more information, email PIO at rcgov.us. This year, Richland County marks its 215th anniversary. In 1799, the county, already known throughout the state for its rich farmland and centralized location, began its path toward self-governance. We'll mark the occasion throughout 2014. Look out for the 215th anniversary seal, announcing a variety of events, and let's celebrate Richland County. With rain barrels and compost bins becoming gardening staples, Richland County is teaming up to make them more affordable than ever with this one-day pre-order event. You can pre-order your rain barrel or compost bin online or on the phone, and the items will be available for pickup at the Gamecock Bilo Shopping Center Saturday, March 22nd from 9 to 1. We have rain barrels marked down for as little as $60 and compost bins for 50% off. Just order online at KeithMidlandsBeautiful.com or call 803-733-1139. Soil is an amazing substance. It's made of minerals, air, water, and organic matter and is home to a complex community of living things. In fact, one small teaspoon of soil can contain more than one billion organisms. This complex soil ecosystem is essential to life. We invite students in grades K through 12 to dig deeper into the subject of soils to discover some of the mysteries lurking beneath the soil's surface, then share their knowledge in the form of a poster. This year's National Conservation Poster Contest theme is Dig Deeper, Mysteries in the Soil, and the Richland Soil and Water Conservation District is offering cash prizes to the best posters designed by Richland County students. The submission deadline is May 15th, and rules and entry forms are available online at rcgov.us slash rswcd. The deadline is fast approaching for Richland County teachers to submit their applications for conservation education mini-grants from the Richland Soil and Water Conservation District. These awards provide up to $250 in funding for environmental projects at Richland County Schools. Past awards have funded outdoor classrooms, school gardens, nature trails, and composting initiatives. Applications must be submitted by February 15th to be considered for spring funding. Download the application online at rcgov.us slash rswcd. Congratulations to Cara Lamb who received the Water Environment Association of South Carolina Capital District Award for Lab Analyst of the Year and Stephen Gardner who received the Water Distribution Operator of the Year Award at the annual Capital District Awards Dinner on January 16th. Great job and thanks for helping to demonstrate that Richland County Utilities has a great team. Richland County was again recognized by government finance professionals across the nation and in Canada for its exemplary efforts in maintaining financial transparency, encouraging accuracy in its budget process, and promoting a strong financial plan. This is the 19th consecutive year the county has received the award from the Government Finance Officers Association of the United States and Canada. The county's finance department was presented in December with the group's annual Distinguished Budget Presentation Award, its highest recognition in government budgeting. That's going to do it for this edition of the Richland Review. If you have any questions about the information that we've provided for you today, please feel free to email us at pio at rcgov.us.